And watch this now. So he's saying, man, this is, this is powerful. If you, if you could really just get this, this is powerful. He just told us how to identify our level. So now, how do we identify it? Where is, there is among you, what? Ending, strife, and division. Let's stop right there. Ending, strife, and division. If you have not, if you have not just understood the basics on how to, how, and how to con conquer envying, strife, and division, you're a baby. But I thought I was growing up. No, you're not growing up. You're not growing up yet. You can't even conquer. What, what was it again? And so that tells me where we may be. Okay, now watch this now. Watch this. Now I need you to get this. I need you to get this. Okay, so now, where is there is among you what? Ending, strife, divisions. Are you not carnal and walk as men? Walk as men. Walk as mere man. You, you just, you just, you just at that stage right now, right? Okay, so now watch this now. So a lot of us will try to fake it and, and, and really just even try to make us believe that we've moved on from this particular level. But now Paul is saying, look, there's a way to get from that level. How many of you, understand, how many of you really understand that? So there's a way to get from that level. Okay, so you're... So you're at that particular level. Now, if you're a natural man and you want to enter just, you know, you want to enter this next stage, you, you have to give your life to Jesus. Amen. Got it? He's the doorway of it all. You have to give your life to Jesus. But now that you're in the door, now that you're in the door, he says you have these, you have these items that you, that you need to really deal with in your life. What are they again? Okay, so now watch this now. So that you have to deal with envy. Now watch this. Now envy, just the basic, basic definition of envy is jealousy or to boil over with emotion. I mean, how many times, how many times do people, you know, people start getting blessed and, you know, you may not voice it, but down on the inside. See, if you don't voice it, it just says that you have discipline. But it doesn't mean that you're not jealous. How in the world she get that? How in the world? I don't. I don't. Uh, who in the world he think he is? He he. Did. I mean, you know, folks started getting blast, man. Come on now, you saw the balling down on the inside. You know, little hussy. <laughs> you, know, you know, I mean, just all kinds, of, just anything. Just, the flesh got to show up, even if it don't show out, it does show up. Okay, so now watch this now. So now, um. So you have envy or what? Okay. So you have envy or jealousy, which is jealousy. You also have strife, contention or, or quarreling. I mean, how many of you really wrestle with that? I mean, just, just, you, you just love a good fuss. Just love a good, just love a good fuss, man. I, I hate a good fuss. I really do. You know, I just want peace, peace, peace. Come on, just say the word, man. Peace, <laughs> hey, man. I just love peace all around me, man. Glory to God, man. I will run from a good argument. I don't want to argue. I'm, you know, I mean, I, I don't really understand people to do. Now I do. Re now, now I can semi understand it because I remember a time that I did. Got it. But now watch this now. So you have, you have quarrels that you, you, just abs you, you just absolutely just have to have. I mean, just, just, just quarrels, contention. Now, remember this. Now, we already talked about Timothy some weeks ago. The servant of the Lord must not strive. Well, hello, everybody. My name is Bishop R.S. Walker of Heritage Church International. I'm the senior pastor there. Let me ask you a question. Have you... Are you one of those that have been in the, in, the, in the grind all week long? You're ready to take a relax, but you don't want to leave God out of your day. Well, I have something very special for you. 
I want you to meet me every Sunday morning at 8 a.m. for Morning Manor. Yes, that is one hour of power where you get to uh, fellowship with great believers, where you get to meet great people and have a time with God in your own personal way as we break open the word of the Lord. We would like to see you there. That's 2772 Crane Highway in Waldorf, Maryland. Look to see you in the move of God. Woo, man, I'm telling you, some years ago, a whole bunch of years ago, when I heard that, I said, oh, no, I got to get that out of my life. You know why I had to get it out? Because what I heard was the devil brings you captive just because you want to. Why? Because we operate in strife. That's, that's his playground right there. When he offers you the opportunity to come in his, in his playground, which is what? No, no, it's strife. His playground is strife or contention or quarreling or argumentation. And as soon as you step in, he, he is now, he now brings you captive just because he wants to. And so you wonder, why is it that I can't break loose from something? Every single time God tried to get you loose, you end up in a quarrel, and you just, and you just, you just stay right there until, until they quit. And so you're locked in to a, a, a particular arena, but come on, look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, there's a remedy. There's a remedy. And so now watch this now. Let me, let me, show, you, let me show you the remedy because I think I'm, I need to stay on time. Okay, so now watch this now. Watch this. So, oh, no, 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 I didn't give you that other one yet. Did. Division. Basic meaning of division is dissension or sedition. This, this is your just automatically wanting to be divided. I mean, so you have you ever experienced people, man? They just, they just, they they just disagree because it's a word, you know. I'm mean, just just it, because they can. I mean, just, just disagree, you know. I mean, come on, come on now, come on now. I mean, find find some place to agree with me. That'll make relationship go over real good. Just find a place to agree. Come on, amen goes right there. Amen. Just find a place to agree. You see, where, where, uh, uh, where contention has already, has already been, you know, introduced. But then since you're in that yard with them and you followed them in that yard, in that playground, find a place to agree. Ooh. You got to find a place. That's how you eliminate it. Right. See, you're going to eliminate any argument if you find a place to agree. Right. It, doesn't matter who, who, it doesn't matter who the argument is with. Shake your neighbor and see if they still here. You still here, neighbor? Okay. Watch this. Watch this. Find a place to agree. It stops all arguments. Find a place to agree. You know, as soon as the argument get ready to jump off, you know what you say? You right. You're you right. You're right. But see, now, a lot of times, then they want to argue back the other way, which, which, which you're trying to just accommodate me. No, 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 really. I understand. I understand. See, because now that's how you know. See, when, when, when the argument is getting ready to get started, and then they say, and then they, you know, then they want to argue back the other way because you said you're right. That's how you know whether or not you're in the playground of contention. Because that's what's supposed to happen in that playground. You're supposed to get into an argument. And I'm trying to pull you into this argument. But now when I say you're right, now you go back the other way. Wait, 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 wait. you trying to just accommodate me? Don't, don't accommodate me. So now watch this. No, you just say God, please. No, you just say God, please. He's where the.
regardless of wherever we are, he's worthy. He's still God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wherever you are, he is still God.